the C5 Galaxy is vital for the strategic force projection capability of the USA. It is not the largest military transport aircraft, but it is undoubtedly the most successful. This flying giant even saved the world once. Now, we are investigating the C5, the aircraft that has carried the burden of the US military for half a century. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all the likes, comments and shares. The C5 Galaxy has many nicknames such as Fat Albert, Big Mac or White Elephant. But it is generally known as FRED, an abbreviation of f***ing ridiculous economic environmental disaster due to its enormous consumption of fuel and its maintenance and reliability issues. Despite this semi-joke contempt, the Galaxy has proved its value countless times. The story of the C5 goes back to the early 1960s. In 1961, Washington requested several aerospace companies to study a heavy jet transport aircraft to replace the C-133 Cargo Master. It would also complement the C-141s and have higher overall performance and a larger cargo bay than the Starlifter, whose interior dimensions were too small to carry many oversized army vehicles. Initially, the CX-4 concept with six engines was revealed. Yet, this design was expensive and had no significant advance over the C-141. So, the US Air Force rejected the CX-4 in 1962 and initiated the new CXX concept study one year later. The new aircraft would have four engines. In 1964, Boeing, Douglas, General Dynamics, Lockheed and Martin Marietta presented their designs. Also, General Electric, Curtis Wright and Pratt and & Whitney offered their engine designs for the new aircraft. Washington chose Lockheed C-5. Initially, the US Air Force had considered Boeing's design which had better performance than its rival. But as Murphy's Law of Combat says, never forget that your weapon is made by the lowest bidder. Lockheed was the lowest bidder, so it won the tender in 1965. The same year, Washington chose General Electric's TF-39 engine for the new aircraft. This new revolutionary turbofan promised a bypass ratio of 8 to 1 while the previous ones were less than 2 to 1. So, the TF-39 offered a higher engine thrust and lower fuel consumption. However, things didn't go as planned. During the development of the C-5, many complications happened which caused significant cost overruns. So, Lockheed suffered major financial difficulties. Still, the Galaxy made its first flight on June 30, 1968. But the prototype of the aircraft failed to fulfill many initial requirements. For example, its maximum takeoff weight was below what had been projected. The wing could not meet the initial limit load criteria. Even though some changes were made, it failed again during the test in 1970. Although these shortcomings had brought a US congressional investigation in 1968 and 1969, the US Air Force took the C-5 into service in June of 1970. Still, in those years, Lockheed was also working on the L-1011 jetliner. These two ambitious projects caused a financial overburden on the company. So, the production of the C-5 nearly came to a halt in 1971. Washington had to give Lockheed a loan to avoid a possible bankruptcy. But the troubles continued. Cracks occurred in the wings of many of the C-5s. So the US Air Force could only use its galaxies by implementing restrictions until corrective work was completed. Washington had chosen Lockheed since it had offered the lowest cost. But in the end, the unit cost of the aircraft increased nearly four times than what was initially projected. So, the US Air Force had to reduce the number of orders from 115 to 81. In 1976, a program was launched to fit 76 C-5s with new aluminum alloy wings to increase strength and resistance to corrosion. The first modified aircraft was delivered in 1981. The program was completed in 1987. During this time, Lockheed offered the US Air Force a new version of the Galaxy called C-5N. The letter N stood for new. In 1982, the US Air Force decided to acquire it to expand its airlift capacity and called this version C-5B. The B variant had all C-5A improvements and also improved wings, simplified landing gear, upgraded TF-39 GE-1C turbofan engines and updated avionics. 
The C-5B made its first flight on September 10, 1985 and became operational one year later. The C-5C was a specially modified variant of the C-5A with a larger internal cargo capacity to accommodate large payloads such as satellites. Two aircraft of this version were used by the US Department of Defense's spacecraft programs and NASA. In 1998, the C-5s gained new avionics including a glass cockpit and navigation equipment besides a new autopilot system. In 2006, the US Air Force decided to re-equip 49B 2C and 1A variant galaxies with the General Electric F-138-100 turbofan engines. This modernization also included over 70 changes and upgrades on the aircraft. The new variant is called C-5M Super Galaxy. Still, due to budget restrictions, only 22 galaxies had been brought to the M standard until 2014. The C-5M has a 30% shorter takeoff, a 38% higher climb rate to initial altitude, and increased cargo load and extended range than the previous versions. The L500 with four Pratt & Whitney JT-90-7 engines was a proposed civil variant of the C5, but no one has ordered it. Lockheed also offered NASA with a twin-body C5 as a shuttle carrier aircraft. Yet, the agency chose two Boeing 747-based aircraft. The C5 is a real giant. Its rudder area is equal to the size of the main wing of the F-104G. The weight of the paint on a galaxy is 1,200 kilograms. There are 165 kilometers of wires, 6 kilometers of tubes and 8 kilometers of control cables inside the aircraft. There is a large area for 15 people, such as relief crew, trainees, etc. at the front of the upper deck. The rear of the upper deck can accommodate 75 passengers. The pressurized cargo compartment is 37 meters long, 4.1 meters high and 5.8 meters wide. Its maximum cargo capacity is 127,459 kilograms. The C-5 can carry two M1 Abrams main battle tanks, seven striker-wheeled armored vehicles, 14 Humvees, four multiple rocket launchers, two Patriot air defense missile launchers, 36 463-liter cargo pallets, or up to 600 troops. The aircraft can also transport four combat-loaded Bradleys. If the additional armor packages and the other loads of these vehicles are removed, this number can be increased to 6. We should add that the Galaxy could carry 10 medium-range Pershing II nuclear ballistic missiles. The C-5 can also transport 6 AH-64 Apache or UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters. The nose and aft cargo bay doors are opened at the complete width and height of the cargo bay. Thanks to the full-width ramps, Double rows of vehicles from either end of the cargo compartment can be loaded and unloaded. Thanks to the 28-wheel kneeling landing gear, the C-5 can lower its fuselage when parked to ease loading and unloading operations. It can take off from 2,500 meters distance with maximum weight. The aircraft requires a 1,500 meter runway for landing in the same condition. The MADAR2 analysis device system can test 800 locations, process the data, and detect possible malfunctions. In 1974, Iran considered acquiring the C-5, but no aircraft were ever ordered. So the USA has remained the only user of the Galaxy. The five-person crew of the C-5M variant consists of a pilot, a co-pilot, a flight engineer, and two loadmasters. But the crew composition can be changed depending on the mission. The aircraft has a length of 75.31 meters, a wingspan of 67.98 meters, and a height of 19.84 meters. Its wing area is 580 square meters. The empty weight of the C-5M is over 172 tons, while its maximum takeoff weight is over 381 tons. The power plant consists of four 230 kN General Electric F-138-100 turbofan engines. Its top speed is 856 km per hour, while its cruise speed is 830 km per hour. The service ceiling is about 12,000 meters, in other words, 41,000 feet. The aircraft's range is 8,900 km with 54-ton cargo and 4,260 km with 127-ton cargo. As mentioned before, the C-5 experienced many costs and technical problems. But since the Galaxy offered a critical capability, Washington did not terminate the program. For example, in 1963, 
The U.S. Armed Forces moved 15,500 soldiers and their equipment from Texas to West Germany using 234 C-118s and C-124s in 63 hours, whereas only 42 C-5As could do the same job in just 13 hours. Since the Vietnam War, the C-5 has proved its critical strategic transport capability in many cases. But we could say that Operation Grass Nickel was the most critical achievement of the galaxy. A surprise attack launched by the Arab armies on October 6, 1973 left Israel with the threat of extinction. The Israeli losses were enormous. Losing Israel would seriously harm US interests in the Middle East. Besides, Tel Aviv was considering using its nuclear arsenal to stop the Arabs. All these facts could have triggered the Third World War. So Washington decided to resupply the Israel Defense Forces, shortly idea, to prevent the catastrophe. Initially, the airliners of El Al began to transport war materials, but their capacities were too low. On October 14, the C-5s and C-141s started to carry the necessary supplies to Israel. When the first Galaxy arrived at the Lada airport, the Israelis had already taken the initiative on both the Golan and Sinai fronts. Still, the IDF had to compensate for its losses to exploit this achievement. Until Operation Nickelgrass ended on November 14, the Galaxies and Starlifters had shipped 22,325 tons of equipment to Israel. These aircraft performed 567 flights during the operation, 147 of which belonged to the C-5s. Yet, they had carried 10,757 tons of the supplies. During the same period, the USSR also sent war materials to its Arab allies by air. Still, the Soviet transport aircraft could carry fewer than the C-5s on 935 flights. The photograph, which shows an M60 unloaded from a galaxy, is the iconic scene from the Operation Nickelgrass. But actually, it was just a deception. Israel demanded new main battle tanks from Washington during the war. But Germany opposed sending the US tanks stationed in its own country to Israel. Yuval Neumann was in charge of the operation on behalf of Israel. Later, he disclosed that the M60 on the photograph flew to Israel and returned after all the photographers left. During Operation Grassnickel, the C-5s did not only save Israel, but also protected the humanity from a global nuclear catastrophe. On October 24, 1974, a C-5A successfully performed an air-launch ballistic missile test over the Pacific Ocean. It released a Minuteman ICBM from a 6,500 meters altitude, in other words, 20,000 feet. Of course, there are many other stories, facts and details about the galaxy we had to skip to keep the video short and sweet. You can share them in our comment section. We will see the C-5s in the sky until 2040. In its remaining 18 years, this flying giant will undoubtedly add new pages to its saga. And after that, the legendary C-5 galaxy will continue to fly in the hearts of aviation and military enthusiasts. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all the likes, comments and shares.